Today, I want us to think about one of God's attributes, the fact that God is just. Now, this is not one of God's attributes that we're typically drawn to. The thought of God's justice can make us uncomfortable. You know, I've never seen a refrigerator magnet or a coffee mug with a Bible verse on it about God's justice. But I want to suggest to you today that God's justice should actually be a source of comfort to us. Because it's only when we understand that God is just that we can really appreciate his mercy. It's like when you go to a jewelry store to purchase a diamond. Uh, the salesperson will almost always show you the diamond against a black background because the black background makes the, the brilliance of the diamond even more striking. And if we don't fully understand God's justice, then we can't fully appreciate the beauty of his mercy. Romans chapter 3 verse 26 says it this way, God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. To be just and the one who justified. The cross was the intersection of God's justice and his love. Our sin required that a penalty to be paid, but God stepped in and made that payment himself. A few years ago, there was a great story in the news about a judge in Fairfax, Virginia, who was hearing the case of a deaf couple who had fallen behind in their rent. Their names were Louis Swan and Deborah Morris, and they decided to get married when they were both in their 40s, but they didn't realize that once they were married, the government would significantly reduce their disability benefits. And so they fell behind on their rent by about $250. And so the landlord took them to court in order to have them evicted. But after hearing the case, the judge did something highly unusual. He stood up, and he went back to his chambers. Then he came out a couple of minutes later, walked around the front of the bench, and then he walked over to the attorney for the landlord and handed the attorney $250 in cash and said, consider it paid. There's a great picture of what happened on that cross. The judge of the universe left heaven, set aside the robes of royalty, took upon himself the flesh of a human being, and on a cross, he paid the price that you and I should have paid, but couldn't pay. Perfect justice and perfect love met there at the cross. Let's pray. 
Lord, thank you that you are just in this world of injustice. We take comfort in the fact that someday everything will be made right. And we worship you for your justice because it reminds us of the depth of your love. Help us to remember that today. And I pray that in Christ's name. Amen.